Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss Deep Code question 399 that says evaluate division. So guys, this is one of the most interesting problem that is found on the lead code. Although building the intuition is very much difficult here for this type of problem, but the approach is interesting. So yeah guys, stick till the end and watch the complete video. So here you are given uh, an array of variable pairs known as equation, right? This equation and for each equation you are given some value. So now what is an equation? Equation is nothing but a pair of string a and b and value is represent nothing but a division of a and b equals to this value. Okay. Now further you will be given some queries. So each query, query of j con also contains two strings c and d and we need to uh, return the answer for each query that is answer is nothing but c c of j divided by d of j. Now if it is not possible to divide this string c and d then simply return minus 1 as return the valid answer. Further the input will always be valid that means there, uh, there won't be any division by 0 or uh, result right or any other contradiction the inputs are valid. So let's take a look at the example for better understanding. So you are given this equation equation 1 equation 2 and value of equation 1 and equation 2. Now what does this mean this means nothing but a by b equals to 2.0 and b by c equals to 3. So this equation as well as value definition states like this. Equation is a by b and its value is 2, b by c and its value is 3. Now you need to find a by c. With the help of this given information you need to find the result for each of the query. You need to find a by c. So if you look uh, here uh, you need to find a by c. All these queries are written in the form of division b by a, a by e a by a right so let's say if you want to find a by c how you would do that you what you can do is a by b into b by c so this way b got cancelled out and the remaining is a by c that means you can multiply 2 and 3 right you can multiply these two and get the answer for a by c right so yeah it's 6 now if you find b by a b by a is nothing but 1 by 2 if a by b is 2 then b by a is nothing but reciprocal so that is 1 by 2 that is 0 0.5 so similarly you can find other other answers so if you have if you see this a by e is e present in the equation no then can we uh, find the answer of a by e no it is not possible because e is on uh, e is unknown we don't know e so yeah written minus one okay now a by a, any uh, number division by itself is always one so its answer is one x by s, x is unknown so written minus one so i guess this way we solve the uh, for the given queries so similarly you can take a look at this example and this example so here this is nothing but a simple variables let's say you could consider this given uh, equations as a simple variables and corresponding to that there are some values and now using the given equation we need to compute the queries right try to solve example 2 and example 3 by yourself let's move on to what another example that I have taken so let's say these are the given equation a, B, a by b is 3 b by c is 2 and c by d is 4 and you need to find a by d and d by a. okay so how you will find this so if you take an observation we need to find a by d so let's start by something that where we have a so we have a by b okay so a by b is 3 now further how to get the value of b for that we have b by c so b by c is 2 okay now let's multiply them a by b and b by c so b gets cancelled out and remaining is a by c a by c is nothing but 3 into 2 that is 6 now here c uh, we don't know how to remove c okay so the equation that we have uh, that includes c is nothing but c by d so we took c by d that is 4 now multiply them so multiplying we get a by d right c cancels out and remaining is a by d and the right hand side answer is nothing but 6 multiplied by 4 that is 24 so a by d is 24 okay now once you get a by d now this is what this is d by a okay so a by if a by d is 24 then d by a must be 1 by 24 right it must be 1 by 24 so let's see how we can compute d by a so now here the numerator part or dividend part is d okay so let's uh, proceed with equation that has d so we have c by d as 4 now if c by d is 4 then we can say d by c is, is 1 by 4 the reciprocal you know yeah right now here c is missing so take e equation that consists c b by c is 2 so c by b is 1 by 2 right now multiply this multiply this equation as well as uh, this equation okay 
that is d by c multiplied by c by b so here c gets cancelled out and we get d by b is 1 by 8 now we have something b that we don't that we have to replace right in the uh, denominator part we want a so we need to replace b now we know that a by b is 3 so b by a is nothing but 1 by 3 the reciprocal thing so we multiply we multiply d by b as well as b by a so b gets cancelled out and we get d by a and you can see it is nothing but 1 by 24 as our result isn't this the same thing here so yeah we are doing uh, that's this thing right we are doing this thing right d by a is 1 by 24 and here is also we got this same thing so guys i hope you have now somewhat understanding that if you are given the equations and the values then how you can compute the values right we have to simply start with the numerator and at the end we proceed until we get the desired denominator see we started with a numerator equation and we keep on multiplying until we got the desired or the required destination destination or denominator whatever you can say here also we started from the numerator d and we keep on multiplying or keep on doing calculation until we got our destination denominator okay so this is one thing so let me represent this given equation in somewhat this thing isn't this correct so let us try to look at it so here this is a and this is b now if i represent the edge between a and b as nothing but the value a by b that is 3 so let's assume that there is one node a there is one node b and the edge between a and b is nothing but the value a by b is uh, that is 3 okay right we can assume this so if this is the edge a to b then the edge b to a see this is a directed edge right then the uh, edge b to a has a value b by a so that is nothing but a reciprocal of this thing so that is 1 by 3 similarly b to c b to c is nothing but b divided by c so the value is 2 right and c to b is nothing but reciprocal of this value so that is 1 by 2 similarly c to d now so that is nothing but this so value is 4 and d to c is nothing but 1 by 4 okay reciprocal thing now guys if you want to move from a to d how you can get the value you can simply traverse from traverse from this is a so traverse from here to b then again traverse to c then traverse to d so can you get a by d here right this is nothing but a by d a to d traversal simple it is right so you can keep multiplying the values uh, and you can get the desired answer so guys isn't the query simplified if you represent the given equation in the form of nodes with the edges uh, with the value of the division right if a to b there is an edge then the edge value is nothing but a by b if there is an edge from c to b then the value of that edge is nothing but c divided by b that is 1 by 2 so guys isn't this simplified so now if you want to traverse from let's say d to a then you will simply multiply d uh, this value multiplied by this value multiplied by this value right then you will directly get c to a so guys this way if you represent the given equation as well as values in this form then answering the queries would be very much simple right because let's say you want to find any queries like, like for an example if you want to find a to c then you will simply uh, travel from a to b and then b to c right and this will give you answer nothing for a by c this will give you answer for a by c right if you multiply the values so guys keeping this in mind we can get the idea that if we represent the given equation in the form of form of nodes and the values in the form of edges and we add those edges to the nodes then this form a graph data structure so using the above data structure we can simply perform a traversal technique from dividend that is a into the divisor that is d uh, and uh, we get the answer right this is the, uh, the dividend is the starting node and the divisor is the destination node see here also we do it the same thing this is the dividend and this is the divisor this is nothing but dividend and this is nothing but divisor so we start from a dividend and end with a divisor this is our destination node this is starting node this is destination node so here also in this graph we will do the same thing we will start from the dividend and end at a divisor right now here what type of graph do we need so we need directed weighted graph because this is one direction only if a to b has this value b to has some different value so each edges has some different value 
so so edges has a value so the it's a so the graph is weighted and the edges is a particular right a to b is not the same as b to a so so an edge is a has a particular direction a to b then only a to b right so it is nothing but directed weighted graph so we need to maintain divisor as well as dividend as well as from the edge value from divisor to dividend that is a value so guys keeping this in mind and also that divisor as well as dividend they both are string and the value is double as you can see uh, here the values are in double values are in double and these both are in string form so i took the graph data structure with the help of another map another map of string as a key and the value consists of pair of string and double so this will store dividend this will store divisor and this will store the value now this string things will sum up to make the adjacency list or our graph and i also took one vector double of answer that we have to return as our answer right got this so guys now the uh, problem is reduced to creation of graph as well as doing a traversal of a graph for each given query correct now the question is reduced to simple traversal of graph to find the result of the given query so guys now let's look at the coding part and let's try to understand that how we can solve this question through c++ code so this is some initialization that i did that is the size of the equation as well as the query size and i just cleared the global variables then we build this graph so here for for each equation we are given the dividend as well as divisor now uh, if you want if we want dividend div dividend by divisor the values is is nothing but value of i that is already given so we push back addition list of dividend dot push back divisor as well as values of i now that can be a, a reciprocal thing like divisor by dividend right this edge is also possible so this is nothing but one by value of i reciprocal of this thing right so we push this thing divisor dot push back dividend and one dot zero divided by values of i this is nothing but reciprocal so we push this to edge that is from node one to node two as well as node two to node one right this is value of i and this is nothing but one divided by value of i okay clear so this is how we build this graph okay now further for each query uh for each query we took the dividend and divisor for the current query and we check does the adjacent list consist dividend so if the adjacent list don't has the dividend that means the pointer reaches the end and it doesn't have or or this is or or it doesn't has a divider so in both this case if the dividend is dividend string is not present in the list that means dividend node is not there in the current graph or divisor node is not there in the current graph then simply push minus one as our answer because we cannot compute this this thing is impossible impossible to get the answer okay now here in the else part i took one visited a uh, set another set of string and call this dfs boolean function so in this dfs boolean function i pass the dividend that is the starting node divisor that is our destination this visited and 1.0 so this is to compute the answer now here if this dfs is false that means there is no path if dfs function return false that means no path path is not present in that case i return minus 1 so just uh, skip this thing let's see how we are doing dfs so in a dfs this is typical dfs that we uh, that where we check whether the node is visited or not see we are traversing this is our starting node this is our destination so we will check for dividend if the dividend is already visited then return false then we insert this dividend into our visited array and we check if dividend equal to divisor that means we have reach reach our destination reach destination so in that case simply push the current product that we are here so initially the product was one right we have passed as one then we are multiplying here so whatever would be the current product we simply return the current product and return true return true that means we found path right we found the path so we return true okay and if this is not the case then we will calculate this here so we i took one found variable and for the all the neighbors of the dividend node i checked if uh, found equal to dfs that means i store the boolean result inside this found for this recursive dfs call i pass the adjacent node 
the device remains as it is the visited data and the product as current product multiplied by the edge right see in inside the neighbor dot second second value is nothing but a double value this is nothing but the value of edge so i simply we simply traverse to the neighbor and multiply the value since this is nothing but traverse neighbor and multiply value and multiply its value traverse into neighbor and multiply its value and if any point we found true as our answer because if this condition satisfy for any recursive call then the found would return true and if we get uh, if this found is true that means we found the path so we just return true and after traversing for all the neighbors if we don't find any path then we return false now you might be thinking that why we require boolean dfs why this thing because what if the node is present see if this condition is satisfied the node are present in the adjacency list this can be thing but there can be no path between them there can be such situation so for an example if there are nodes a b and c d where the values are a by b is 2 c by d is 4 so we have represent this in a graph node a node b a by b is 2 b by b a is nothing but 1 by 2 c by d this thing is 4 and d by c is nothing but 1 by 4 now if the query asks to find a by c is there any path from node a to node c no there is no path from a to c there is uh, a to c there is no path right there is no path so for this situation when there is no path then this dfs call will return what will return false and in this situation we will push minus 1 to our answer right the answer would be minus 1 because there is no path between a and c so it is impossible to compute the result and thus we will push minus 1 so guys we also have to check whether there is a path between node a and node b whether there is a path between divider and divisor if there is no path between divider and divisor then this dfs will return false and we will push minus 1 so guys understand this thing although the node a and node c were present in the graph so this condition won't hit so we will go in the else condition all because the a and c were present in the graph here we are only check we are only checking whether they are present in this graph or not right we are only checking whether they are present in the graph or not and further we have to also check whether there is a path between the a and c if there is no if there is no path between a and c then we have to push minus 1 and that's why we have to check whether there is a path or not so we took this boolean dfs call right understood this thing why we are taking boolean dfs to check whether there is a path or not and if this boolean dfs returns true that means we have found our destination node in by traversal and yeah we found the path and in that case push the current product as our answer and if this condition is never hit right that means there is no path and in that case uh, push answer uh, answer is minus 1 so yeah guys this is how we will compute and calculate the answer for each query and at the end we return the answer vector so yeah guys i hope you have now understanding of how we are doing this and how we are solving this question now talking about the time and space complex setting so here firstly uh we are making this we are forming this graph so for n equation this will take big of n so this will let me write here this will take big of n plus for each query what we are doing for each query we you might have to do dfs traversal now dfs traversal take uh, a time complexity of nothing but big of edges plus vertices e plus v if you are using adjacency list this will take nothing but big of e plus v so yeah q into big o of e plus v so the overall time complexity is big o of n plus big o of number of queries into e plus v so this is our time complexity and the space complexity is uh big o of n square you can take because we are using this graph here it is of unordered map of vector so this is uh big o of n square right So yeah guys that's for the complexity part and yeah that's all for this video if you guys have still any doubts then do let me know in the comment section make sure you like it and subscribe to our channel thank you